Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, as you probably know by now. And let us continue in our little campaign, playing in Equestriate War with the Aquilian Republic under Mama Cecilia Gadro. Now, she, did you know she was born in 953? So she's she's getting old, man. She's getting real old. Oh boy, Cecilia. Oh boy. But um, so I, as I said in the last video, or the end of last video, I've already gone ahead and done a lot of this stuff over here. But how about we begin with a periphery development scheme? Independence hasn't brought much prosperity to the periphery, but there's no point in gloating about such observances or observations. We need to go and fund these prodigal regions in a way that ties and integrates them into the Quillian family. We have learned the hard way what happens when provinces try and become their own little kingdoms. Oh boy. Which is kind of weird to say just because, uh, well, eventually, with this next focus, we let the Hetzland go free. But let's get some more technology with better destroyers, that'd be very good, and hardened tanks. Oh, we love hard tanks. And then, the Sister Republic. We are liberators, not imperialists. Despite our victory, we neither need nor want to hold dominion over that Hetzland. Instead, we shall let it go as a fully independent nation in the Entente, a true Sister Republic to our own. Their future will be theirs to forge, not one that we decide for them, which sounds, at least to me, you know, in Hoi 4, we like to conquer a lot of people. We like to have fun taking people out. Do we really want to let people go? I know that we're harmonious. You know, we're, we're believers in the harmony ideology, but... Man, we fought so long and hard for them to be with us. Oh, look at that. We can't do this one? Oh. Oh, it's exclusive. Okay. Commoner, commoner recruits? Or common... Commoner recruits. Yeah, common recruits. And the only outdated tech are a lot of destroyers, or capital ships, I mean, that we're trying to make. Oh, this, uh, this just feels wrong to do. This just feels incredibly wrong to do. Giving them liberty? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, but right now we have 365 deputies supporting us in the entire chamber, which is pretty good, I'd say. We have, what, seven-eighths of the entire assembly following us, but they sent us financial aid. Thank you. Great. We'll take it. We didn't need it. We've got a lot of pee, -pee right now, but hey, we'll take it. Why not, right? If it's free pee, -pee we'll take it. It looks like we're building some military factories, some civvy factories, some dockyards. Looking pretty good, but after the Sister Republic. Galdro's final farewell. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to see her go bye-bye. Let's do the Fiat de Naval Reform Plan first. Aquilia's naval is left languishing ever since the First Revolution, and though it has survived, it has become a shadow of what it once was. It is time to restore it and make it once again the pride of the nation, and the first step will be to find the Navy's role going forward. Oh, the changelings have lost. Look at that. The changelings have actually lost the war. And about five days left, four days. Oh, we got the Cypher done for the Kingdom of Wing Body. I don't know if we'll actually go to war with them. Like, we can make a lot of puppet states if we own a lot of people, but... Yeah. Well, there goes the Free Changing Hives. Hello. Oh, is that like a Norwegian flag or, you know, the uh, Scandinavian flags? Oh, look. Thorax is here. Coalition Detractors. Ah, thank you, devs. Thank you very much. Whip the party. Let's crack those whips. Thank you very much. Ooh, and what else do we have here? Let's see, the Periphery thingy. So we have a lot of these. Le Audre Nouveau. Any own state is a core state of wing body to lose Francistria of Alcor at Psychemion. So that'd be kind of nice to do. HP Knights? Sure, why not? Disperse Industry? Get some more extraction? Sure, why not? Better Destroyers? Sure. Why not? Um, but yeah, I don't know if we can actually do any of this stuff. Um, we can manage to go to war with people. Um, yeah, they're in our, in our alliance, but they change their color. I don't like their different color. We judge them based on their color. Hmm. Doesn't seem very harmonious to me, but whatever. Expend the Fezzeran shipyards. Sure, why not? Region integrate uh, oil? Yeah, why not? Military actions. Now we can do much here in local agent recruitments just for spy stuff, so. Alright, not bad. With 380. We are so close to having maximized everything out here. Work with these guys? Sure, why not? We actually might start losing some support, but whatever. Godro's finer fellow. We might as well do this one. President Godro plans for Aquila to have all been put in place, and the nation has prospered under her policies, however. She has realized that her time for acting as a leader is coming to its end, and has put forward her resignation as president. Though we will miss her, it is time for Aquila to move on from the past and into the future. Oh, president, you led us against against the tyranny of the monarchy in the, from the Grafonian Empire, but it is what it is. As directed by our government, though, the Quillian Admiralty is holding a conference to discuss the future of the Navy, chaired by Admiral Fierten. The most distinguished officers, theorists, and bureaucrats of the naval establishment have come together to devise a strategic plan for the development, training, and supply of our ships and sailors. The most significant point of contention is the country's concept of operations for the fleet. With only limited resources, <clears throat> they must determine what approach would work best for the Quillian interests. The young theorists push for carriers and naval aviation. The veterans' captains... Veteran captains advocate for new battleships, or the bureaucrats stress the strategic importance of convoys. I like the veteran captains. 
I like those big ships. Those big ships go boom. All right, so we actually 382. We're getting closer here. Uh, we want to change more harmony support. Can we maximize this? We might actually be able to maximize this. We'll lower our own support to get this one. So if we can get to like 390, I think that would be extremely good for us. Just because we can. So I don't know if we can take out all the enemies here. Proclaim the pan Griffonian dream dead. Oh, well, okay. Deep in the social state. Oh, we do alienate people away from here too, which kind of does suck. So it's a good thing we're trying to get more of these guys with us, but we'll see what happens. More rubber? Why not? <clears throat> Colossus series, that's actually really good. And we'll go with more encryption. Cryptology level nice. Oh, the final goodbye. The clock had struck 10 in the evening by the time Cecilia let Sugar Creep, or Sugar Crepe, into her office. It had, as always, been a busy day for the President of the Republic, signing forms, giving orders, and occasionally giving an irritating member of the National Assembly a dressing down in private for not voting along the party lines, and yet she seemed so peaceful and working. Sugar Crepe coughed once, letting Cecilia notice her, pres her presence. Cecilia looked up and her eyes met Sugar Crepe's. Oh, just who I was waiting for, she said, signing the last note, putting the rest off to the side. Hmm, Sugar wondered. Cecilia folded her claws and leaned back in her chair. As you may know, my term, my term is coming to an end soon, and, well, I'm thinking of retiring. But retire when everything is just getting started? Sugar Crate protested, and that is exactly why. I want to see some more than just Aquila and Aquilia. The cities of the world, the riverlands, and so much more. I don't want to end up rotting away in this office, she replied, gesturing around. <clears throat> You really think I'm up for the task? Of course I am. And even if you weren't, you'd, you'd learn on the job. Cecile turned around and looked out the windows, down on the busy streets. I think it is false what they say. As a president, you do control who lives, dies, and who tells your story. Hopefully, Crepe can keep order. Oh, every single deputy defects from a coalition. Insufferable genius, huh? Well, that's a bunch of bad words. A lot of bad words for me. A lot of bad words. Jesus. We did all that for nothing. Are you kidding me, man? Why? Uh, well, we can't do that one. Every single one already supports us. Uh, I guess more harmony then. Well, I guess we have no leader. Deep in the social state. Uh, sure, why not? The government's duty is to protect and care for its citizens. The labor laws were a good start, but we need to go even further in aiding both our workers and our people as a whole. Every quillian should be able to live a good life, and we shall ensure that they can indeed. Cool, cool, cool. And we lost a lot of support, but I think we'll be okay. I mean... This is pretty easy to figure out and understand, so not too bad. More supporters? Why not? We love having supporters, don't we? We all need a little bit of support in our lives. After that, though, Aquila in the world stage? Ooh, provincialism? Why not? The many cultures that make up Aquilia and their differences are just as important as unity between them. Although we are still one united country, we must acknowledge and even support the differences between us so that a griffin can call themselves Aurelian or a Vinovian as much as a can Aquilian. <clears throat> Vinovian. Vinovian. A day in the life. Oh, Jean Luc well, was grooving himself as he watched Gress come walking past the window. The world had turned upside down and had, and sooner or later there'd be a reckoning for it. The workers headed home from their shifts already. It wasn't even 8 o'clock. This new generation was lazy. Back in his day, they'd work 80 hours a week without complaining, and these little chicks had demanded 40. And where would they go now? Off to watch a movie? Or go to the theater like some fat, spoiled nobles? Or just sit home, lazing around, playing with the kids? Sure, he hadn't liked the discredits, but things right now were just too good to be true. Soon the crash would come and it all would end. He had seen the kind of money that he gave even a common labor like he was once. Where was all that money meant to come from? Were they just making new money on the spot they kept? That couldn't be good. And all the schooling nonsense. Griffs like him worked their claws and their backs and they didn't need to learn about fancy mathematics or what pony princesses across the sea were named. It'd leave them all fat, spoiled, distracted, and lazy, and then what was going to happen? Are you doing well, Monsieur Boulier? Jean Luc looked up as he heard the voice of Eulali, one of the nurses. He grunted, mm -mm, young people today, you really have it too good, mark my words. We really do, Eulali, responded with a patient smile. I think they're playing Vin Un in the main room, and I wanted to ask if you'd like to go as well. At this, Jean perked up. They started without me? Well, come on, get me in there. I'm not going to be left out. Jean Luc adjusted himself in his wheelchair as Eulali pushed him towards the main room of the care home, smiling patiently as he kept complaining about the state of the world. What are we having for dinner? Hmm, very nice, very nice. Uh, we don't have that many nuts, but keep impro improving their ability to perform. Which is not bad, but we've got to keep working with this stuff, though. Oh, uh, I don't want to work with these people. We have to do the Hetzlander bombing competition. The Hetzlander Air Force is currently holding trials for a new medium bomber. According to our air attaché, our newest model is Poison 1. A formal request from the Hetzlander government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling your most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale to go through? We can't risk leaks. We just can't. But we absolutely will. Even though they change their colors and they don't have a person in charge. Elsa Silbabawa. Is that, doesn't that just mean silver farmer? 
Does she farm silver? Can you farm silver? That'd be kind of cool if you could. Oh! Wait. Low trade influence. That's an... What? Uh, we don't need any more support from the pack because we there to support us overall, so... What? Baby? You don't... What the heck? Generated... Oh, yeah, yeah, I generated a lot of world tension. Well, what do you expect? What... We're supposed to... We're supposed to save the world from the tyranny of monarchy, man. But universal edu education? Why not? Every creature that deserves an education, be they Pony to Griffin, from Aquila to Wesky, also get the most quality schooling we can provide, and from the alphabet to a college degree, as the next generation takes their place in Aquila, they'll be learned, ready, and prepared for the world around them. They'll be learned? They will learn. Or they will be taught. Is that right? Is that a correct grammatical Englishish? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not an English person. I'm a guy who just shows up and gets to be in English class. That's how I roll. Because I can never somehow get an A, apparently. Anyways. Uh, 232 is still not too bad. Oh, we got a loan done. All right. Uh, we're working conditions. Working conditions. Dig for oil. We love oil here. We're Americans. Fiscal reform. Oh, but after we get some encryption as well as some decryption as well. <clears throat> if we can still do this. Maybe. Maybe not. Godjo did much to fix the state of Aquilian taxes, but there is still much more to be done on the subject of our economy. The Fiscal Reform Act will, un will cut unnecessary taxes, which will slightly lower lowering our revenue, which will stimulate with increased spending and strengthen our currency. If we can get enough people to support our group here. For 10 days, we might just get it. Uh, we can let a few days go by. Will we have enough by the end of this? 15 de deputies. 222. Two, two. That, is that enough for this one? No, it's not. Oh, big sadness. Oh, we have to do another focus in it instead. Oh, no. Le Gendarmes Maritime. Though grand warships stir the soul, the smaller vessels are no less important. The destroyers of the vanguard, the patrol ships, the submarine hunters, and the escorts of our navy, and by developing new, more capable models, we strengthen the navy in a hundred new small ways. Very nice. So, let's go whip the Congress, even though we were like 350, 360 some. Still not enough. And at this point, ah, oh, destroyers are nice and all. I don't think they're going to be really that much use. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love editing the sub stuff here. I really enjoy this, actually. I am a very weird person who actually likes this stuff. If you know my channel at all, you know I love doing this. But, actually, eh, it actually slows us down slightly, but that's fine. Uh, anti-air. There's some anti-air in there. Get some good anti-air. But yeah, I do. I really do actually enjoy this. Um, radar, level 3 is not too bad. Level 4 subs and, or, you know, speed. There you go. Old destroyers, bye-bye. Wow, we need a lot of steel. Holy smoky big booties. Alright, where can we buy the steel from or get it the steel from? Hetzlin? Uh, you know what? That's fine. We probably have enough uh, uh, factories to do that. We really want to focus on really good knights, apparently. Wowzers. And we'll get some more rubber. Why not? Cool. Work with the PDNA. Why not? Because we need way more support. There you go. Improve our processing. How about we get some more fuel that we don't need? Alright, and get some more rubber as well. Because, honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter to me too much. No matter what war we get into, we'll probably do okay. We're, we're just putting out so much. Like, look at all the stuff we got. I'm not really worried about equipment at all. I'm more worried about manpower, to be honest with you guys. But, let's work with the pat. No. 15, 15, 14, 54 plus 15. That comes up to a nice number, doesn't it? I think it does. So, we can work with them. For now. And then, hopefully, we'll have enough support to do Fiscal Reform Act. Yeah, that will stimulate increased spending and strengthen our currency. Uh, decryption? Nice. Let's grab some of that too. Fiscal reform? We can finally do that. And which means we're going to have to eventually do another one of these next. Restart battleship development. The battleship is a heart and soul of a navy, and its presence is a show of force and a symbol of pride. Before its guns, lesser ships flee, and before its armor, all but the strongest weapons must admit, ad admit defeat. We were forced to suspend our battleship projects before, but the time has come to reassume them. Nice. Let's work with some dudes, and then we'll poach some deputies. And even in late game, it's still not running that slowly. I mean, we're going pretty briskly. Not too bad, I'd say so myself. Alright. Poach them. Harmony. Yeah, I'll go and do that one next. Fiscal Reform Act. Very nice. Can we do another one? Oh, we kind of actually can. You know, instead of that one, we'll do Aquilia on the world stage. Our nation is not the only one who've embraced harmony. While not all of them may exactly follow our ideals of republicanism, there are still many who value freedom and liberty for their citizens, just as we do. Reaching out to these countries will help solidify our position on the world stage, as well as making new friends for the future. And it's always, always good to have friends. Always, always good. Well, usually good. Most of the time, it's good. Yeah. Because people who don't support you aren't your friends. Depending on what the action is. Okay, never mind. Just, just, 
I'm going I'm going crazy right now. Cool, but that's okay. Ooh, nuclear reactors, a nuclear equestria. Equestria or equestria? Aquilia. Nuclear weapons developed by a nation who claims to be harmonious? I hope we make some nuclear reactors and get a lot of energy. Cool. And we'll grab some construction speed and we'll grab some more output because we can. After oil, let's grab some... I always do stream online. Flexible on. Let's be flexible. It's always going to be a little flexible as well. You can learn a lot by playing games. You learn to be flexible. Learn to be interesting. Sugar crepe. Hello. You don't seem like a person who would be very sugar crepe, but... You know, I was right. We saw how old Cecile was getting. And I was right. She wouldn't be here forever, so... Gotta hate it when you're right. Uh, you know, I'll get that other research done first. Encryption. Very nice. Uh, radar. Radio? Why not? Uh, it's 1016. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Apparently it is. Alright, so after that one, we might have enough support down here once we have enough deputies. Work with the PAT. PDNA. We could use some more support from them. Uh, we need 250. 250. That's quite a few guys we do need. So, the Wolf Pack Theater. Subs are built in weapon, but they need to be used properly. They are not shipped to the line. They are hidden some ambushers, and they should be used and developed accordingly. Most accordingly. Oh, so that's not bad. Into the PDNA. We work with the supremacists. Ah, oh, we like the supremacists. We like a little bit of supremacy in our lives, don't we? It keeps us interested. And then we'll poach some more people. Two, three, two. Jumps up to. Oh, not enough. Oh, come on. Work with a pat. Oh, that's only 10 more. Uh, uh, fine. We can only 44% sports, which is okay, whatever. And can we do anything down here? No. Oh, you, you break my heart. But once actually we, we do this one, then we should be able to do abolish the price recognitions. Regulations. We'd probably be able to be do that one. Be do that one? Do that one. Man, I wish I could speak, man. I really wish I could speak. But the policies put in place so far have been relatively successful and help Aquilia prosper. One of the more con controversial acts by the government, though, was implementing price regulations. Though they were useful once, now they stand as an obstacle to the free market and will be repealed. We lose 10% political power gain. Oh my goodness. Too bad we already have 1,200 political power and we don't need any more right now. I'll grab that too, why not? More hominy, thank you very much. Now, is that supposed to say weekly stability goes down by 0.9%? It doesn't seem like it's actually going down by that much. That seems like fake news, man. Could be wrong though, it could be very wrong. Okay, so we got we still have 257. But this will alienate even more people, which really is not why you know my book. But cruiser development. Neither cruisers nor battleships will carry us to victory alone. A well constructed cruiser delivers firepower enough for most occasions at much lower cost, and allows us to project power more evenly across the ocean. Muy bueno. Whip whip the party. We love whipping the party into action. Oh my goodness. We need so much more supporters. And nuclear bombs! Nuclear bombs go kaboom. Well, usually. Uh, if we have to work with the pit now, so be it. So be it. Oh, extraction, why not? Construction? Ah, construction speed bonus, why not? At this point, let's go ahead and do that one too. Upgrades, because we're so far in delight game, that doesn't even matter for us. Alright, this is one done yet. Nope, about halfway through. And this one's done, so we can curtail people. Actually, we currently have how much support? 44% support still, and we're going to work with the, the supremacists. Alright, not bad. And I think we're done with all this? Yeah, we're, look, we're all done with the intelligence too. Nice. Are we still training here? Uh, do we need to be training? If you need to train, go ahead and train. But if you don't need to, totally fine. Don't worry about it. Curtail, work with them. If we have to. If we have to. Fuel refining? Might as well. Cool. So, do we have enough? Yes. Peach. Peach with the Aconite. Actually, once we do this one, will we have enough support here? Maybe 252? Oh, we got that 252. But we need 275 for that. Oh, oh man. Peace with the Akonite. Despite their loss of influence politically, the Akons still possess immense spiritual power amongst their citizens as well as the religious leaders of many faithful. Having these griffins against us will only lead to issues and trouble, so President Sugar Crepe will personally visit the Akons to finally make amends. Alienate 35 plus 5 is 40, 50 deputies. Oh, why? What a shame, man. Oh, carriers are very nice, even though I don't think we really need them too much, but that's okay. Since we got the PP for it, we might also use them. Wow. We are blazing through this so fast. And I love it. Uh, deck armor? Yeah, I always like a little bit of deck armor. Uh, hangar space, hangar space. No, that's the wrong one. That's not hangar space. This is hangar space. But that means we need actual carrier planes then. Wow, we have a lot of carrier space here. Holy smokies. Radar 4, and then some of that, and then... 
Our carriers like to go vroom 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 vroom. Let's make three. I like carriers. Carriers are cool because they transport stuff, and if you transport stuff, you might be very cool. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going crazy right now. Woo! I am going nuts. I should be live streaming this instead, actually. But whatever. Curtail? Well, probably won't curtail them. We got halfway through that focus. Not bad, not bad. Now, right, can we get our any more support? That'd be very nice. Oh, 15 more support, even though we're going to go drop way down next. So we might as well read about the next uh, military stuff. Reform the Commandos Marine. Artillery will not only win on land, and it will not win at sea. Whether during boarding actions or d during landings on enemy shores, we need to train soldiers for the specific task of fighting in and around water. The eldest daughter of Octurius. It was a beautiful day in Griffenheim. A sugar crepe made her way down the street towards the Grand Temple of Boreas. For any other occasion, it would have been the perfect weather to simply relax, take in the sights of the city, and perhaps have lunch with friends at a cafe. Unfortunately, the president had no time for such trivialities today, as the visit was purely business to ensure the continued peace of both Aquilia and the Hetzlum, She was meeting today with the new Archon of Boreas. Austrius I to finally come to a concordat between the Archonates and the Quilly itself. Ten minutes later, she found herself sitting in a chair on the opposite side of a table from the Archon. I'm glad you were able to join me today, Austria said, still dressed in his priestly robes. Many of my colleagues were concerned about the future of the three temples. Yes, well, the Quillian government and I decided it was best that we come to agreement on things, Crepe responded. Trying to project her usual confidence and certainty, she was knowledgeable about many things, but religion was not one of them. I have already examined the proposed concord that you sent, and after much consideration, I found it acceptable. Unlike my predecessor, I believe it is time for the temples to retreat from their role in politics and international affairs. Sugar Crepe couldn't sm help but let a quiet scoff. As it should be, she quietly muttered. The Archon raised an eyebrow. Tell me, Miss President. Oh, it's Miss President. Oh. What do you know for certain about what happens when a griffin dies, or how about the world was created? What about when the sun rises and sets each day, when... She was silent, struggling to find the words to respond, he continued. Religion is not just finding answers to these questions, it is also a source of unity for any griffin. Something that both you and me could be together, and despite our many differences. I, for example, sense in you the fiery spirit of Arcturus. Or Arcturus, yeah, despite how you may object. We seek to help creatures find their place in this world, and that is why we expect you to allow our independence in that, just as we will allow yours in politics. The unicorn mayor found herself nodding along, still at a loss of formulated response. It would be one of the few times a crepe would ever be so. One cannot wage war against her own soul. Oh, yes, you can. You can try, but you're probably going to lose. But that's okay. Whip the party. Do we like whips? Yes, we do. Now we got it. We got, we're shooting high for high numbers of deputies. We just got to bribe them, beat them, bully them into, into submission, and then they'll come along. You know, it just, it just works. It just works. You beat people, and you'll probably get arrested. Cool. We need way more support. And supremacists. Oh, it looks like Ponyahaden on Taig Fada is killing Ponyahian on Taig Fada. Sounds, sounds pretty rough over there, man. Sounds pretty rough. There you go. Very nice. Two days for fuel refining. Get some modern rubber processing. Thank you very much. Extraction. And they'll go with the flexible line too. Very, we have some, we have the most flexible lines here. The absolute most flexible lines. Work with these guys, might as well. We need more deputies. We currently have only 41% support, but that sucks. Ah, Flowina, thank you. Oh, they kill themselves. Cool. <sighs> we need more support. Oh, please give us enough support, come on. Oh, 272 with them. Man. man. You know what, screw it. I'm going to wait for that one's done. Embrace social capitalism. Oh, we could do the free trade. Oh, I don't like free trade right now. I prefer to do a harmonic internationalism. Harmony is not just about caring for your own citizens. It is also about helping spread both it and freedom across the world. Wherever it is in danger, we have an obligation to aid others in the cause of harmony. And it is not one that we will forsake. Come on, can we get this done? Come on. Okay, what's going on? Seriously, what's going on? Do we not have... How do we not get enough support for them? God dang it. Well, I guess we'll choose one of these at the top then. Wolfpack Theorem, we've already read that one. Very good. My bad, I was hoping that we'd get enough support, but apparently we don't have enough support from the uh, FJA, so. That's kind of kind of suck. Like, it's this all based on your ideology. Imagine if you lost all of your ideology, you have to tell people, hey, go home. We don't want you here anymore. We have too many of you guys here. That would really suck. That would really suck, you know. <laughs> you know, just, oh, sorry. We got... People like this ideology too much. You're out of a job. Like, you're not even voted out. Like, you're just kicked out. Just that, that would not be cool, man. That would just not be cool. But for gameplay mechanics, it makes sense. 
Smoke generators, sure, why not? Nuclear bombs, we love going in a little nuclear. Alright, promises of peace. Pidna, we're gonna lose stuff anyways. I don't wanna lower our support anyways for now. Full de facto, 287, not bad. Alright, so, harmonic internationalism is next. And then Assemblée Supremacy. Oh, we need 300. Oh, my goodness. Oh, permanent disabled the coalition detractors. I mean, that doesn't really matter to me too much, honestly. Like, yeah, it kind of sucks that we have to get more deputies every single time. But it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. You just click a lot of buttons and you win, right? You just click buttons and you win. Mm, yeah, we're kind of okay for now. 287, we're going to make some people shy away, but it is what it is, you know. Push deputies, change in harmony. Yeah, you might as well do that one first. It's fine. Since we don't, we're not maxed out on anyone else, so that's kind of okay with me for now. And after this, we'll have to do another military focus. The Naval Aerial Transport Department. The seas are no obstacle for aircraft, but they do present unique challenges and opportunities. Torpedoes sir, serve our bombers better than bombs here, and if a plane land, plans to land at sea, it must be built for the task. Very good. I'm not. I don't even remember if we're making uh any carrier planes, huh? Or or, or carriers. Period. There you go. I guess we are making carriers, technically, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll give you some carrier planes, then. Hmm. Alright. Whatever. 2 through 2 is not bad. Whip the party. Might as well. Get whipping. And then we'll do Embrace Social Capitalism. Social Capitalism. The idea of using capital to improve society as a whole is exactly what the spirit of Aquilia needs. The free market will help the nation and the economy. And the people who gain from it will help others, too, so they can, as well, thrive. That's a little bit ahead of time. More naval stuff. Get some more plane stuff. Uh, we need some naval bombers, actually, so let's start working on that stuff. Experimental rockets go probably kaboom. Happy 1017, everyone. Let's grab some more research speed and nuclear production with naval power. Oh, wait. Wasn't that thing, like, we're not supposed to make this many because we'll run out of crystals, because these require crystals, right? Ah, this is probably the last episode anyways, it'll be okay, right? 262, curtail, work with them. Supremacists? We like the supremacists. We show them their ways peacefully. That's why we like them. We don't have to kill them. Usually. Sometimes we do. And sometimes we really enjoy it. But it is what it is. Uh, will we have enough support with, by the end of this one? We actually might... 270, yep, we will. 276, embrace social capitalism. But after that one, we'll probably go ahead and choose the Floating Fortress Doctrine. As it has on land, the war at sea is changing. These floating airfields are positioned to take on the role of the new kings of the ocean. An airplane flies further than even the greatest gun can fire, and the firepower they deliver is no less precise. The shift in warfare will be seismic, and Aquilia shall lead the way. Cool. 276 will not be enough for what we need. Will honestly not be enough. There you go. Complete the focus so we can see how little support we have. Because I don't really want to do anything else until we finish this one. There you go. And now we're 221. Work with the Pidna. Very nice. After that one, uh, the next one we can do is we need two, 300. Oh, that's a big number. I can probably count that high. But the third branch of the military, which we completely ignored up until this point. Though our wings have carried us far throughout history, it is clear that these new aerial weapons are neither a fad nor pointless. They will be a foundational part of future warfare, and we must make sure to face the challenges that await us with one unified doctrine. Whip the party. Whip them good. 236, huh? So what's the highest number of deputies we need for to... Unlock focuses. That's my question. Which we'll obviously learn very soon, but... Valkyrie. Very nice. We got some carriers. That'd be very good. Thank you. Merci. I don't speak French. Danke schön. <laughs> Alright. Work with the pat. Might as well. Because we gotta get that 300. That 300. The number of Spartans that died in the Battle of Thermopylae. Yep. That number. Alright, so after this one, we'll probably work with the Pidna. Let's see, even more fuel. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Work with the Pidna. Thank you very much. Or no, that's MPA. Which we, we will play as all these different nations eventually. Or these different factions. Ideological nations. Whatever they want to be called. Third branch of the military. <laughs> yes, please. Ah. The LNA Pulad. Nice. And then... Coalition, that's fine. Curtail people. No, we're kind of good. Yeah. More harmony. We need more harmony. Well, since that's going on... Uh, oh, carrier fighter threes are very nice. Close air support, we might as well make that as well. Let's grab some uh, carrier fighter threes. 
And maybe start producing them with that much. There you go. There you go. That should be good enough, right? Good enough. So, a fighter craft modernization. Thanks to the wasteful and unfocused development efforts in recent years, the Aquilian fighter corps is woefully out of date. Thankfully, there is enough knowledge and experience spread among the various efforts that if they are brought back together, we can jumpstart our efforts to modernize. Very good. 271. Nice. We need to whip a few more members, and after this one, we should, we might have enough, maybe, to do well. And, ooh, we're close. Oh, maybe not, actually. Whip the party. Oh, uh, we could do that, but we're still not going to have enough support yet. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the F-Wall's Doctrine Debate. We Griffins have a natural ability or affinity for the sky, so it's no surprise that many stakeholders have taken an interest in the development of the Air Force. As the newest branch of the military, it has drawn to itself many non-traditional elements such as engineers, designers, and capitalists, along with the expected corps of aviators and air officers. This burgeoning air community is hosting a mix of air show, trade conference, and strategy seminar in the country set to foster deep introspection of our aerial capacities. In the end, however, it falls to a few key notables, representatives of the larger groups to come to a final decision and send the proposal to the government. Very nice. So, still a little bit ahead of time. Well, I will get some more... Military police. There you go. What, what, which one did we choose? I can't remember. Strategic destruction. Did we choose one? Oh, it's Operation Integrity. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's pretty nice. Can we do anything else yet here? No, we cannot. Um, with the party. Oh, we have enough. No, we won't have enough. Thank you for the financial aid, Florina. You're doing great for us. You're doing great, honey. You're doing, you're doing great. But now, after this one, we should have enough. Uh, once we do the, the absolute next one, who, who are we going to work with? Uh, either group, any group doesn't really matter with us. And, come on. Cool. Unite the Rumer Basin. Uh, we could go to work with other people. I don't, don't really kind of feel like it. I mean, we could, but still. I'm more focused on just the focuses and getting through them first. Work with the Pat. There we go. Wow, we exactly have 300. That is, that is cutting it very close. There you go. But, Assemblée Supremacy. The Assembly is a body closest to the people, being elected out of, from the people, rather than through some shady process deciding who even gets a vote. And it is only right and proper that they be granted primacy over the President. After all, there must be never another king. And now, my friends, we have just finished up the Assemblée Supremacy, and luckily, the last focus here does not require us to do it. Liberté, Egalité, and Fraternité. At long last, we finally achieved what the Revolution originally set out to do. Aquilia truly embodies the three original principles we were founded upon, Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity. A shining star of prosperity, the nation and its people have become the perfect democracy we've always strived to become. And maybe in the end, maybe we'll just go ahead and take out Wing Body, because we can. Why not? Actually, I already checked out the Navy here, and we had 31 ships, or 32 ships now, in total. Just kind of hanging out with 7 battleships? That's actually really cool. We just had 7 battleships waiting in the harbor for us. Um, I guess we whip the party, why not? Sugar Crepe confronts the winged body in evil. In modern history, perhaps even in history as a whole, there's been no worse tyranny than the Iron Grip, in which Giulio Biccolini now holds the kingdom of winged body griffins, or holds... King Wing Body. Griffins may argue that we should not provoke conflict and we should trust Giulio Biccolini to honor treaties and promises in the future, but these people fail to see that these treaties only strengthen evil. To these dishonorable liars, might makes right, and the paper on which an agreement is written burns just as easily as the books of their detractors. Those who have long hoped to have avoided direct confrontation with the kingdom of Wing Body have now been strongly opposed by Sugar Crepe, who argues that we are merely postponing war to the advance of the enemy. At this rate, we may strike the first blow. After all, there can be no peace in our time until they are gone. Peace in our time, my friends, with the blood of our enemies. Oh, well, we built up a lot of air bases here. Nice. Awesome. Oh yeah, I spent you guys, let you guys do that. Oh, that's not bad, that's pretty good. No, very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, you duplicate yourselves. And I could, oh, 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 that was a bad idea. There you go. We need the duplicate button. Duplicate. Uno, dos, cuatro, cinco, cinco. There you go. We really don't have that many fighters, do we? Holy crud. You guys are all tactical bombers. Can you duplicate you guys? Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, that's not good. Y'all go there. We really don't have a lot of uh, planes, do we? That really sucks, man. That really sucks. What have I been doing all this time off screen? Oh, man. Oh, the loan is gone. That's fine. I don't really care too much about the loan, to be honest with you. Why do we not have that many fighters? No, we have 2,400. Hmm. Something seems a bit fishy here. There 
we go. Half you guys. Oh, I don't really care. Just go right there. And the other half. One, two, three, four. Go right there. Go right there. And then go right there. Military police. Get some more military police. And garrisons. You can use some military police. How about that? Oh, we got a lot of stuff here, don't we? A dream realized, my friends. The Ry Riley. Wearily, the little director has been sitting with the census data all week. Reading list after list of names, marital statuses, births, deaths, etc. It had been nigh endless, but in the end, as he poured over his compilation of it, he realized something that made his breath hitch. Going back 50 years to before the first revolution, the average lifespan had been low enough that he himself likely would have passed away before them. Barely half the population had been even literate. Most of them engaged in sustenance farming, a name here or there, or he, no, a name here of a 16 year old girl, already married with three children, is someone more than twice her age. Row after row of names lost in childbirth or before their fifth birthday, whether to disease or starvation. So many names that only ex existed as tax record notes, nothing more. Generations upon generations reduced to merely an income or source of soldiers. His eyes went over to last year's records and he found himself covering his beak with his claw. Not a single name without a record of where they went to school. Many of them were noted as having pursued secondary education as well, with geography being a minimal factor in it. Child mortality in the last years was below 3% and shrinking steadily, maternal mortality following a similar pattern. And as for expected lifespan, it had shot upwards thanks to nutrition, healthcare, and senior welfare e equally. Slowly rising up, he shuffled out into the open plan office beyond it where his ten subordinates were all, all hard at work. Every gruff he called out to get their attention, I would like for you to all quit early today. All I'm asking is that you take your family to a cafe or something else. We live in good times, please let us go home to enjoy it. As his subordinates thanked him and began to depart, he got his coat and hat as well, locking the door to the office. He should get flowers for his wife, maybe go out for a movie. After all, why shouldn't he, without even realizing it, their homeland had become the shining star they only could have dreamed of in their youths. They probably wouldn't dedicate a day to celebrating it, but he could, and he would. The revolution has been vindicated, and I guess a little bit to my, uh, surprise, there's no bonus here at the end. What? No bonus? Well, you should get a bonus at the end. I feel, I feel betrayed. I feel absolutely betrayed by Aviation Industry Development Grant. Aluminum used to be an odd metal that kings of old made into a most expensive dinner plate since it was so rare. In these modern times, it's not only easily produced, it is also the foundation of aircraft construction. By ensuring our industry can produce a steady supply of it, we can ensure that we keep our Air Force flying. Probably really good. As we're waiting to go to war with these guys down here. Now, why are we going to war? Because I'm not too worried about this. I already looked and... They don't have that much manpower. We don't either. But we're technically harmony, so getting more compliance every day is not that bad, which will reduce the amount of manpower we need. But... Oh, we question the motives of the Kingdom Wing Party. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. And naval power, but cool. At least through war, there will be an end to this conflict. Maybe. Or just nuclear annihilation, which actually sounds like a lot of fun as well, but... Hopefully not nuclear annihilation. So, I guess we're done with this wing. This wing? This thing? It shouldn't take too long to get down there, but how about we do the Aquila, oh, Aquila Institute of Aerodynamics? Flying is an art form, whether by wings or by plane, and Aquila's tradition of excellence in all that we do demands that this art is taken seriously. Veteran flyers will be rotated back to the academies, where they can teach their methods to the new generation of pilots so that they can all share in the unified knowledge of all pilots. Very good. Smart thing to do. Nice. Oh, I... Oh, tr click and drag. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, um... Here, you, do, you guys share this much. Oh, we need a lot more nukes. There you go. We're still making more divisions. Look, look at that. Uh, you guys go here then. That's fine. Uh, we're not really they're not really needed too much, so. And then we will poach some more people as well next. If we if we really do need to. Wow, we're out of manpower. Well, that's not good. As long as we go to war, we'll, we'll probably be okay. Actually, cut these down a little bit. There you go. Go down to three. That's fine for now. Nice. Two seventy five. Aquila Institute of Aerodynamics. I do want to see what happens when we take these guys out, though. If we get any special event. Just because I was given thumb of artwork for war between the Aquilian Republic versus the King of Wingbardi. So I just want to see if there's anything here special. Because it seems like there should be, since they're, you know, supremacists and we're, um, uh, har harmonious. Or people that are the harmony ideology. So. Alright. We should have more than enough fuel for forever. I don't care if that's ahead of time. It doesn't really matter at this point. We'll grab the more military police, because that's pretty good to get as well. And... Boom. Cool. Actually, how much longer do we have to wait? It shouldn't be that much longer, honestly. Like, Yeah, we got one more focus after this to do. So, bomb 
Bomber Escort Craft. As our bombers go forth to bring destruction to our enemies, they will be easy targets. The development of long-range fighters is imperative to make sure that we can give them the protection they need, as well as Hippograph's synthetic rubber initiative. We're not blessed with the natural rubber plantations of Zebrica, but that is a challenge, not an issue. If we can grow rubber, we will find ways to synthesize it, and thanks to some contacts in Hippogrypha, Hippogryphia, we already are well underway. An envoy is arrived in the Great Haste today at the Imperial Palace, begging Sugar Creep for help. After we've gotten to the Griffin to calm down and explain his issues, it's revealed that the Hell Quell is under great threat, and require immediate assistance unless the Empire's eastern borders become threatened. While we regard the eastern lands as a rightful territory, we may not be able to properly cover the front, given the current situation in the rest of the Griffonia. How do we respond to the envoy? Give him A, but demand vassalage. Um. Hell Quill, huh? Ooh, do we want to kill these guys? Hellquill is not looking good. Uh, but demand these? Yeah. Join Hellquill in their war against the fir tree. Oh, boy. Guys, I'm literally planning something else right now. I'm literally planning something else. Um, How much manpower do these guys have? Because they have none. We can probably steamroll them. The Bacata Republic sells quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know, man. The River Coalition... How many more days have we got? Oh, we got nine days. That's not bad. Get our guys in line. We should do relatively okay, so I'll give them aid. Well, I guess we're in a war. I guess technically we kind of did ask for this, but still. I guess we gotta go in. Uh, we're kind of good for now. And actually, this gives us an excuse to raise our conscription level again. All don't serve. And we'll do this one. Nice. Get our guys in the line and go, go, go. Yeah, if you guys want to come in, that's fine. A lot of them are out of manpower, and we'll be able to hopefully sink them and sink them eventually. Oh, yeah. I, I thought we were attacking there, because we have 40 combo widths. Uh, we should be able to win, right? Right? They have four divisions there, and they're not doing very well, so. Uh, what is this war like? 8,000, 7,000, 142,000. Call, 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 call them all in. The fall of Lake City. Cool. Hopefully they don't backstab us. That'd be really sucky. But at the same time, build everything they got up here. Immediately build everything. Get some plans. We're going to need a lot of plans where we're headed. Rocket engines are nice. Get some more artillery. 33 days. That's so good. Wow, we're overrunning them. Well, we've lost how many? 10,000? 20,000? We've killed off 100, 2,000? Nice. There can be no peace until, until they're gone. Pretty much. Pretty much. And now we can go to war. we got to wait a little bit. Uh, you know what? Just in case. Let's just go re-justify just in case. Like, this war takes too long. So. Oh, we can't go to war. Let's not do that yet. I want to make sure that we're fully ready to go to war when we need to be. So. Technology. Air doctrine. Might as well. Yeah, there you go. Anything here? Scavenger. Now we're pretty good. Go Fortress Busters then. Here, Fortress Buster as well, and then Morning Star, nothing else, okay. Questions, Wing Body and Sovereignty, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, you got their 30 divisions there, wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, you might want to help out there too. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 you want to do what you want to do, you want to do what you want to do, okay. Not bad. Um, we've killed off, oh, there goes Water Towns, we've killed quite a few of them already. Nice. Let's go ahead and do this one, too. Bomber escort craft. Military police is very nice. Get even more military police. That'd be very good as well. And since we're here, and I'm taking extra time just to explore what this has to offer for us. You guys go down there. You go over to here. You go down to here. And you guys go down to uh, here. Just in case. Lake City's gone as well. Better artillery. Even more modern artillery. Nice. 40 combo wits lead the way in this... As we take out more and more enemies, they have less and less divisions to use against us, which is, I would say, pretty great. Look at that, nice. 50,000 loss, pretty much, versus hundreds of thousands, if not almost, we're roughly approaching a million. So, alright, fir tree villages are gone too. That's not to love. Keep going, keep going. Air, we're doing mixed results. Should be getting more air XP than this, but whatever. We do have anti-air in all of our divisions, too, which is quite helpful. Uh, at the same time, go and do this as well. Go get some more max planning done first. That's going to be important. Oh, they refused? Oh, what? What? 
Okay, that's very weird. Okay, well, whatever. You guys must not have a lot of, uh... Oh, well, no wonder. That sucks. Are you guys still attacking here? Huh, that sucks too. Wow, this really sucks here. Hold on. Hold on, we gotta fix some of this stuff up. The supply is really bad here. Really incredibly bad. Oh, now they're attacking us, huh? I mean, that'll help. Don't get me wrong. That'll definitely help, but still. Hundred twenty six thousand versus one point four million one point one four million. Wow. They are doing some serious damage, but you know what? So can we. That last attack should kill them all off. Yep, they're out of manpower in Diamond Mountain. They still have a little bit left there in the Bacardan Republic, a little bit in River Republic. A little bit uh, the, they still have a little bit of manpower all over the place, so that's not too bad for them. Alright, infantry support craft. Infantry came first, then, then that which supported the infantry. Though the war in the air provides new challenges, this fact remains, and our plan should be designed to fulfill that, this role. Very good. Modern artillery, we should hit them harder, harder, harder. Get advanced anti air as well. Hmm, maybe we should get logistic companies too. This is really not good for us. Everyone hold. Fewer refining is nice. And we'll go with logistics next. How, how are they not capitulated yet? That doesn't make any sense to me. They've lost so many guys, man. And our supplies are actually really bad, but still. Incredibly bad. Can you actually improve that? No, you can't. Yeah, I want to go to war with Bicolini, but I guess it's not going to happen right now. It would help if we had air superiority too, so. Hmm. But we have no more fighters, huh? Uh, yeah, I should have invested in more fighters, huh? That's, that's pretty bad of me. Pretty bad. That's the case. There you go. Better military police. Grab even better military police after that, too. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, engineers. We all are using engineers, so that's pretty good. They're at 1.89 million, 1.9 million. Can we make it 1.91 million, maybe? That'd be kind of nice, right? Yeah, they're trying to do as much damage as possible here. Holy crap. The other guys are not even shooting them down. That doesn't make any sense to me, man. And maybe we'll use some anti-air here, perhaps? Yes, yes. Logistics 1 is very good. Grab Logistics 2 over here for the 40 combat width. Oh, they're attacking us still. That's fine, whatever. Um, oh, we wouldn't even have them on there. Oh. That's a bit, be hopefully quite a bit better. But up next, we shall do a Quillian bomber fleet. The air is not merely a place for fighter pilots to joust, but also one from which we can wreak untold devastation on our enemies. If we control the space, we can paralyze our foes by blowing apart their factories, infrastructure, and formations. This, however, will need to be a well-developed bomber fleet. Pretty good. Better anti-air. Yes, please. All right, we're looking pretty good. It says we can do what? Well, oh, okay. It says you guys can do well. I don't believe you. Why are we being lied to, man? Over here we're doing well, but over here not too much. Manage subjects. There you go. They have five thousand manpower left. If they're gonna run out, hopefully very soon. Hopefully, 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 air superiority will be better. Uh, how much manpower do they have left? 2,000? 2, 2,000 left? Not bad. This is... We're grinding through it. I hate to do it like this, but it is what it is. It is what it is. If you could capitulate them a little bit faster, that'd be really good. Oh, they got a little more manpower. They must be mobilizing. Scraping the barrel. Ah, they're scraping the barrel, I see. There you go. War propaganda. That's fine. Oh, more military factories. That's good, because we need them right now. Maybe anti-air? No. Fighters. More fighters. Uh, yeah, I don't like free trade right now. Oh my god, we can't get rid of it though. Oh my goodness, that's so not good. That is so not good. And we go to war with them again. Wow, this really sucks. Diamond Mountain, my god. I should not have gotten involved in this war. This is really bad.
We've lost half a million versus 3.22 million. Not bad. I mean, we've done very, very well. But it's this is coming at one heck of a cost. Oh, crap. Someone got captured. Oh, I don't want to deal with that right now. Um, and then combined arm tactics. Payload concentration now. Go combined arms. Oh, we're not using that, though. Still payload calibration. Aerial bombing is not merely to throw massive amounts of bombs at your target. It's also precise science where one well-aimed bomb, or well-aimed and calibrated bomb, can cause equal damage to 100 blindly dropped ones. Pretty much. Who do we need to capitulate? River Republic? Why are you taking so long to die? Where's the River Republic? They're over there. So we got to finish these guys off first up here. Uh, do we have any more territory we can, like, probably do this? Okay, give me all the territory. You're, you don't deserve any of this, man. Help will. Give me, give me the stuff. We need to be able to do, administer this independently by ourselves. We have no more manpower. We need boom to boom to boom to boom to boom. You are our puppet, and we deserve to get this stuff. Please tell me yes. You're not gonna allow. You're not allowed to tell me no. And we can do that one too. And uh, recon because we can. That's good. At least we can build and lower resistance. Get some radar in here too. Advanced anti-air, even better anti-air. That'd be good. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. Nice. We're going to take Diamond Mountain next, probably. They have a lot of divisions. They're not good divisions, but they have a lot of them. Oh, look at that. That's nice, nice, nice. Just got to concentrate our forces well enough. That's all. Don't make me force it into you guys. Force Siege Artillery, maybe? Nice. Logistics 2. Get Logistics 3 because things are going to be very bad around here. This was a bad idea going to war with these guys. Oh boy. How much more manpower do they have? An infinite amount? 11,000? Zero? 40,000? Zero? They had way more before. I can do that one too. Uh, you guys have how much manpower? Less Around 50,000? No manpower like we saw earlier. Less nothing? So if we just keep attacking, they, they will all, literally all die, so... It's unfortunate. I, I hate doing it like this, but this is this technically is one method you could use to attack and kill off enemies. So, would recommend it all the time because it really hurts your manpower. But it is what it is. Uh, I guess I'm up up to again. That should be just enough for us to push them out. Just enough. Uh, emergency stuff. Working conditions. We need more stability. Oh, come on, get Diamond Mountain. Come on, you're not allowed to lose. You're not allowed to lose. Payload calibration. Nice, and we did this part of the focus tree, pretty much all of it. So Diamond Mountain's ours. We gotta get. Oh, we gotta go all the way over there, man. That sucks. That really sucks. Kingdom wing body. We can still take him out. I just want to see what the nation's like after we, you know, win here. Are we done mobilizing. We have to go to all uh, intelligence. Oh yeah, we got that one. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Advanced anti-air upgrade. Get more artillery. I want you to wipe them off the face of the earth. That'll be good, and we'll grow up some of that. We do have enough air XP for this, though. So. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We've lost almost a million, roughly. So, But we've killed a four million of them, so not too bad, not too bad. I definitely did not want this war, man. Definitely did not. Oh, we got They should be done. Yes, good, 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 good. Are these guys at war as well? Technically, yeah, they are at war as well. This would be really bad if we went to war as well with them right now. Um, could we actually afford to do that, maybe? Oh, no, they mobilize more. They mobilize more, so that's not good. We can companies two, go three. Hey, are you kidding me? Another agent was captured? Ultimate. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. So we can close out of this. Come on, keep killing them. They're, they're just taking too long. I could really throw you guys over there. Agent killed. God dang it. Could we win on this front alone? Maybe. Oh, Vitton Land is gone. That's good. Logistics 3, go Logistics 4. We should have them at this point. They should not have enough divisions to do anything, right? 
They have how many left? Up to 130, maybe? Not bad. You guys go and train them. Forty days are not bad. That's actually really good. Come on, guys, keep going. Yeah, we're not even using that stuff, so whatever. Don't grab that too. So all we need is the River Republic. They should be dead. I'm gonna annex them all directly into our country. So Carthen is gone. Come on. Isn't the River Republic like hereish? Uh, yeah, this is the River Republic. Why are you guys not dead yet? Maybe because I need to give you better orders. Maybe that's it. There you go, something like that. And go right ahead. There you go, that's what we want to see. And we'll see that as well, and then offensive doctrine if we get enough XP for that. Nice, grab some more anti-air, that would be good. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Seriously, how are they not dead? How are they literally not dead yet? And go with... I got one. God dang it. Well, we can't do this until they're done. Seriously, how are they not dead? Well, they're all dead. Whatever. Well, we've lost about a million. 800,000 versus 5.4 million, so... Okay, where is the River Republic? How are they not dead yet? Where are they? Hello? Where are you? Why did that take so long? Uh, I don't like that, man. I don't like that. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. That that doesn't seem to... I understand, like, if you've got to take two capitals or something, that's fine, but... We literally have to take every single state of the River Republic? That's... That's a bit extreme, man. That's a bit extreme. Was it worth it? Probably not, honestly. You know, the hill ponies, though? Might as well. And then unite the Riverlands. We'll probably well as well do that as, as well, because we can. The Hill Pony Confederacy. Or Confederation. Something like that. Oh god, it's lagging so hard. Okay, there we go. Ah, that wasn't too bad. That's a lot better than Kaiserreich. So much better than Kaiserreich. But they're led by Sol Swift Arrow and River Federation. Pumpkin Squirrel. I love Pumpkin Squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel. Alright, now it's time to end. Wing Body. Equestria is trying to hold on there, so that's pretty good for them. Get ready to go. Get ready. I, I killed off a lot of our own griffins here, which is not very good by me, but... What do you mean? Criticize for week 4 policy? We literally just took out one of the biggest factions on the rest of... of uh, what is this? Equus? Or what's the, the continent here? What? What? Did you not just see what we did against these guys? <laughs> Who in the right name would say that we're weak on foreign policy? Who? I'd love to meet them. I really would. Finally, we can do this. Oh, wait. Are our soldiers on the border yet? Oh, they are. Okay, thank God. Okay, so we should not have too much of a struggle with this, these guys. After we just had that massive struggle with the other group. Yeah, we need a lot more manpower and stuff, but, like, we should do okay here. We might not have enough manpower or planes, but whatever. With them fighting a two-front war, we should do relatively okay. Wow, they've lost a lot of people to Equestria. Logistics 4, go Logistics 5. Um, we've lost 2,000 so far. You guys want to come in? That's fine. That's good, actually. I expected that you come in. Um, hmm. I'm looking for a particular type of bomber. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ah, we got the capital, Francistria, nuked. I, I wanted to do that at least once, right? Man, we got a lot of political power. We almost never get that much political power. Oh, I don't want to forget this either. Uh, you guys are still training, so don't do that. You guys, K, K, K. Repair. But you're taking too long. So I'm actually sending you guys down here immediately. There you go. Something like that. Good luck. Hopefully you guys do well. We've lost how many? This is probably going to be easier. Yeah, this is, this is way easier than the other one right now. We've killed off a quarter million of them. Oh, we killed these guys too. Engineer companies is fine. Military Police 5, that's fine as well. Uh, if you guys want to come in here... Oh, you, you'll probably struggle against these guys, actually. That's not good. Uh, that's not bad. You actually won. Okay, that's not bad. If I over the water into the room air, not bad. That's actually really good. Good job, guys. Sure, guys. 
Alright, not bad. We're just slaughtering them. Talus is gone. We only killed off 84,000 of them. We're doing a lot better than Equestria. Oh, are you guys struggling over here or something? What's going on? There you go. Do that too. Maintenance 1. Uh, field Hospital 4 that we're not going to use. Cool. Ooh, we did lose something there, but... Ooh. Alright, whatever. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Any of the ship battles? What's going on over here? Oh, our ships are doing very nicely. We build a big old battleship fleet. I love it. Makes me happy. Makes me very happy. Sure, guys, you want to come on through? That's fine. Oh, what's this? Ah, nice. Oh, oh, baby, look at that. We lost a few ships ourselves. Are those Equestrians? No, these are Mars. Oh, our destroyers got sunk. That sucked. They probably had a lot of uh, planes as well, but that's okay. It happens. Okay, that was much easier. That was so much easier than the River Federation. Holy crud. As much as I want to give stuff to people, um, I just want to see if we take everything. Like, what can we do to release someone? So... Not bad. Alright. There you go. Oh, the Oscar-Griffonian State. Hellquill or Longsword. Well, mm, I don't want to use Cons Commands. But let's see if we can just do this. HLQ... Did we get them? Yes, we do. Okay, that's why we do it. TDE bug. There we go. So, unit through Mare Basin. I wasn't planning on doing this anyways, but then unit Carthinia. Establishing all Griffinian state. Griffonian state is next after we release all of Bicolini's lands and reestablish Asterian and then establish the Evil Confederation. I really wasn't planning on doing this, but let's see. Tobias is right in feather. Okay, that's us. Carthinian Federation. Beata Perli. We have the Griffinstonian uh, Confederation, as well as the Republic of Asterian, Theodora Luludi, and the evil, well, not the evil one, but the Evi Confederation, led by Ivana Vesoko. But that's going to be us for here for this campaign. Now, uh, that's not too bad. If you enjoy, enjoy the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.